Super Hits. 104.9 WAXI. Rockville, Clinton. States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, I think we'll open tonight with uh, Lucas White from uh, Fountain Trust Company. Hi. So I met a few of you. Good to see you again after Hi. a few years. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Lucas White. I'm the president of the Fountain Trust Company. Um, I'm here tonight to present a ceremonial check. I understand we've already given you the money, um, so this check isn't good for a whole lot, but um, uh, we like to, to do this when we can. Um, we are very happy to be here in Rockville. We've been here um, quite a while now, probably close to 15, 20 years, um, and I think this is a good example of, of when communities support their local businesses, the local businesses are able to turn around and support the community back. Um, and so we, we appreciate your business. We appreciate the town trusting us with your business. Uh, you guys have been a very good customer for um, quite a while at this point, um, and we certainly appreciate that. So, um, you know, when you do business with a, a big out-of-town bank or a big box store, all the money leaves the community, um, and we try to do a very good job of, of where we take deposits. We, we make loans in those communities and keep the, keep the money working in those communities. So uh, we are happy to be a part of your bicentennial uh, celebration down here, and we're very pleased to be able to do this. So um, with that, I think Kelsey's going to take a picture yep. um, so we can put it in our newsletter. Um, I don't know who wants to be in the picture. <laughs> um, David, get up there. And you can tell from the signature no. Doug is much better at a fancy ceremonial uh -huh. signature than I am, so. Uh. That was good. Yes. Got it. Okay. You want to can you the yeah. so <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So you, you folks been around right. since 1903. 1903, yep. Yeah. That's when the bank was founded. Yeah. Um, our, my family did not start the bank. We actually uh, got control of it in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. My great grandfather um, ultimately got control of it, and we we've it ever since. But it was founded in 1903. So your third generation. Fourth. Fourth. Yep. Uh, my great grandfather ran it up until. Um, I don't know, but I don't know when he died. Uh, but probably the 60s, I think. My grandfather ran it up until the late 90s. Yeah. Uh, my dad is still there, of course. Uh, he'll never retire. Uh, we, we celebrated his 50th year at the bank a few months ago. Huh. Um, we did that because he'll never retire, so we couldn't throw a retirement party. Uh, so we, did, we had a 50-year work anniversary party for him. Uh, but he's still still doing well and works every day, and so I'm looking forward to it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, Thank we you do. It's, it's been a long time coming. So, <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Have a good evening, and thank you for letting us go first. Thank you. Have a good evening. Are you Brandon here? Oh, sorry. I, 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 I wanted to introduce myself. Sorry, I didn't get to come over That's to okay. you, but yeah, thanks for this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. While you're up. I'll just let okay. you go. How's that? Okay. Yeah, well, where we at? I wanted to start with something I don't have on the agenda, but I wanted to remind those of you that aren't aware, there is a public meeting for the bike and pedal path tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. at the Rockville Community Center. Um, yeah, tomorrow, Wednesday, yeah. Yes. Not Monday, um, it's Wednesday. I have a couple flyers on the table there. There um, is a survey, if you get a chance to take that survey. I um, took it already. There's, I think... They've had several, uh, maybe a couple hundred um, completed the survey as okay. well. Uh, they're going to kind of have an open house type thing tomorrow. You didn't take it? I don't think so. Okay, you need to do that tonight. You know if you did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you, it wouldn't be. I mean, it's, yes. yeah. But yeah, they're, so they're having an open house they'd like to welcome. We've kind of shared that on a couple different um, social media pages, trying to invite the public to attend to see what their projections are. Um, for that, so that could be interesting. If you have any more questions or anything like that, you can always ask me about it. Okay. Thank um, you. So I will start off with my claims in the amount of four forty-eight two thirty-seven fifty-five. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> you know I'm waiting. I know. Oh. <laughs> Is it where I will wait the most? Well, you know, it, it's pretty, pretty uh, basic stuff. We uh, have all our insurance stuff in there. And I was looking at, you know, I was looking at, uh, what was I looking at here? Um, yeah, you yeah, uh, we have where we paid for the clock there. Uh, we, we had the final payment, oh, I believe, on, on, on Jefferson of 93293. Uh, and that's on some of those hmm? money <clears throat> when you asked me to previously about the, I think it was the Jefferson Street, mm -hmm. this one. Um, I think it's on my list of things. We'll work together to all those transfers. Okay. But yeah, yeah, you made a motion. I'll, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I have resolution number 2023-01, and that would be a resolution I need to submit back to IMPA on behalf of Keith Fisher being appointed the commissioner um, for the Board of Commissioners of um, IMPA. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And that, just, you signed that one. So I just need one more signature from you. I missed that. Get to me. I've got one more. No, it's here, Jeff. I, I just <laughs> scribbled on it. Uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> okay, I've got meeting minutes that I've emailed to you that I don't know if anybody has any questions. I think everybody's gotten back to me that they've reviewed or somewhat reviewed. Um, I think I didn't mark these. I'll send the. I can do them all as one, but I'll send that first, this first few set. Yeah, these then, were all um, sent out last week, weren't they? These, this last one here, Chris, will be one that you can sign okay. as well. Mm -hmm. I move. Yeah. Do we need to move? How do you want this done? So moved. Yep, just all of them. That's fine. So we have, you yeah. move, I'll say. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Bunch of This was just the, it was the January 3rd meeting, so this was the first one. Those are just the others. That one's January. I don't need to sign these other ones. Right. Uh, the next thing I have is resolution 2023-02. And this one, um, Jeff, if I could get some input on here. Um, IMPA is just needing to update their service corp maintenance agreement on the following authorized representatives um, to be able to actually place calls. So I don't know if you have any other individuals um, besides maybe Brett and yourself. Um, I always put my name on there, not that I call for any emergencies necessarily, but if there's anybody else's name that needs to be added to that list, they would like an updated Okay. When do they need that? Well, I told them I'm getting it approved tonight and I'd okay. send it back tomorrow. I mean, we don't need a list of employees by any means that need to be. Right, I think uh, I just need to do right now. Okay. We also need to sign in then. Since she was here and she just now showed up. Yes. Good. And I know the fire department, of course, always takes yeah. care of yeah. doing that as well, but. If I can just get a motion for that resolution I'll for move. those members. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Sorry. Nope, that's okay. Hey, can we go ahead and add the end of that while we're thinking about it? Uh huh. She gets called out to me okay. sometimes also. Thank you. <coughs> Contact number four. No, I no, okay. they, they just need a list of names just okay. to take the authorization for a call from. Um, okay. 
Okay. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention was I've still been working with the state on finishing up our new website, so I don't have a go live date on that, but it should be probably mid-February, if not before then. So I'll send an email out to everybody um, with any of the information there. It'll take us a little while, but if you have any suggestions, photos, comments, documents that you'd like uploaded, we'll be, of course, learning how to use that website. But um, I'll welcome any of those documents that we can start adding to the website as well. You got it. Nope. First thing I got is nuisance properties, uh, Yorkville Apartments. You'll notice the couch is gone. 415 Barton Street, there's an eviction order for February 10th, so they can't really do anything with that property until after the 10th. 401 Leatherwood Alley uh, was forwarded to Nick. 707 Hawk Street was also forwarded to Nick, and those were updates that were forwarded to Nick. There was already property affidavits filed on. Uh, 414 Indiana, 407 South College, and 1010 East High Street. We will reevaluate in May. They are almost completely done, but some of the things they need to do is put paint on, and I think it would be kind of poor to try and do it this time of year. Uh, and that's all I have for properties. Uh, Patrolman Gentile will go to, uh, or Gentile will go to the Academy in May. Uh, the traffic cloud. That uh, is the, uh, the little flashy signs like on Howard Avenue and 36. So the, it's time for a renewal on those. I believe those are usually split down the middle. Uh, and they've given us three options. The first one is $3,000 uh, for 12 months, $5,400 for 24 months with a $600 discount, and $7,650 for a 36 month. 15% discount or 1350. Well, how beneficial do you think those are? I mean, what, what, what's the value to the town, to your department? I think they're somewhat beneficial as far as people are coming into the school zone, they're seeing those flashing signs. Uh, when people say there's a bunch of speeding on Anderson Street, can go we can put the camera there and we can actually tell. How many people are in fact speeding on Anderson, or is it, you know, is that a, an accurate complaint, or is that just somebody that, you know, some grumpy they've person? Seen, they've seen one car go by. Uh, I, I don't know about Jeff, I, he probably uses it uh, probably more so than I do, I would guess. Yeah, but Grant. Street. we kind of used to, but NDOT has kind of gotten away from traffic counts. Okay. It, it, it's not as big a factor for them. Uh, anymore is is the actual PASER rating on streets, uh, but still, I, I, if we needed to pull that data, I think it would be good to have. But I can't say that I've really used it for the last okay. two years. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously the the thirty six month is definitely a heck of a bargain compared to twelve months. Well, what's your thoughts? What's it cost to buy one? Well, this is the service. This isn't the, this yeah, isn't okay. the camera itself. I can't this remember the cost. It. They were not cheap. Yeah, they were um, not cheap. They were expensive. So, uh, I don't know what the board have. What do you think there, Lily? What happens if you don't update the service? Well, yeah, I don't know. What, I suppose you, they're, they're not useful. Uh, so, you already own the unit? Yeah. yeah. So Would it still so flash? Did we have it last? I thought yeah. we voted yeah, to say still. no. Oh, if it's I mean, we still have them, but it doesn't document anything, right? I, I don't know if we're able to change, like, say I wanted to move it to a street that was 40 miles an hour. I don't know that I would have the ability to change it from the 30 to the the 40, or if I wanted to move it off the 25 onto a 30, if I could actually change it. But it doesn't document. Around. It wouldn't document. It would doesn't. be taking pictures and stuff like that. It would just be flashing. Is it now? It is right now. It takes, okay. it takes pictures, but unfortunately, sometimes when it takes pictures... The car is already ahead of the, the camera. So you went can't. too fast. So you can't get so, the license plate. Well, the camera's say what, the trick. Oh, no. We need an accurate What percentage is the laser that's detailed? Well, like a detail or you 20 miles an hour speed. Paint. We're using it more as a uh, 
deterrent for people to speed. I mean, occasionally we pull data off of it, but we're not pulling a lot of data off of it. So if you Maybe. don't have the data, it'll still flash. I mean, it'll still operate. You just won't be capturing data. So. I mean, if we're not using the data, why pay for it? Well, do you think the savings could be used better somewhere else? I mean, we did the 36 months, 6,000, 6,500, but we figured 2,000 a month or a year. Uh, is that worth $2,000 a year to have those out there? That seems crazy. You have to pay for that if you already own the unit and all it's doing. Well, it's being transferred. It's kind of like a cell phone. You own the cell mm -hmm. phone, but you still got to pay for the service. Right. So that's the, probably the best way I could explain it is it's. And we have two units? Two units. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Is value, could the 2000 a year be used better for somewhere else? I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know. What's the value? I know when I see them flashing at me, it makes me pay attention more. I'm yeah. usually not going that fast anyway, but if you're over 25, it starts flashing, so I'm always... So there's nothing, I mean, there's no kind of SD cards or flash drives or anything in that unit. It all goes to the cloud. That is my understanding. Okay. Well, is any of that information used for grants? Do we have? We don't have any current grants that we've used. I think I, I think all those grants were mainly used uh, by Jeff prior to. Okay. I just kind of wanted to help you guys with. And you're just using things. it for count, counting, right? I mean, but yeah, that was primarily while we were using it for the uh, average daily traffic count. And if, if we don't want to go that route, we're forced to get one of those pneumatic counters, you know, that you stretch the hose out across the, and that right. wouldn't, wouldn't affect our community crossings at all. I mean, no, it, like I said, their community crossings the last couple of years haven't even asked for any average daily counts. Hmm. But right now, that's not have... to say that, you know, later on in dot may want it for another one. I don't know if they required it for South Market. Uh, you know, they didn't require it for that. Uh, you, you, you have one thirty six one Howard. Yes. Okay. Don't we have two little ones that goes on poles? That go on poles or something? Those are the ones we're talking about. Are the ones on poles? Oh, okay. You're thinking are, of the, you think of the, the trailer. trailer? I'm thinking of the trailer. Mm. Yeah, so we're, we're, these, these are the ones on the poles. The ones on the poles are ones on Howard, Howard. And, and, the and the other ones on 36. We're not using the data. So don't pay for it. I mean, the deterrent really is that it's the flashing. You're going too fast. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's still operational, then except now they'll know. It's not recording data, so they won't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, can you ticket somebody off of that? Anyways? Not or? afterwards, could you? So if you're, like, right there where you're seeing them speeding, then you can probably sight them. But you'd have to, it's kind of like if I was running my radar in my car. Okay. I'd, I'd have to actually be there to... I'm not, we're not getting any, we're not writing any tickets off of these. Well, I, I feel like with that, I, I say, money better I don't see the point of having the data if we're not, if we can't use it to. And I'm assuming we could go back and renew it any time if we found some reason to. I'm sure they would take our money. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't doubt that they would tell you no. Well, uh, I uh, purchased some Dayton armor today. Uh, we had got two extras. Uh, we also have a female reserve, so we needed a uh, smaller set for her, so whenever she comes out, she's also able to have the armored plates, because the ones that we currently have won't fit in her vest. Was that what's already in the appropriation report, Bill? Was that already, or is that something else? Nah, not no. yet. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Is that all you got? That's all you got. Okay. What was that one thing in here? You ready, Jeff? It looks Tactical like you got a long list. Are you yeah, still good? It, it should be fairly quick, though. Our community crossings grant application for 2023 is called One. I have uh, Project One would be Anderson Street. Roger gave us a revised cost estimate on that of 606890 and that's going from uh, 41 all the way down to uh, Rainbow. Rainbow Drive. And that's with curbs and the sidewalks and the stormwork as well. Down to pine. Five percent match for that would be one hundred fifty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-two fifty. 
Project 2, which is the 1.75 or 1.5 inch milling, 1.75 inch uh, hot mix overlay for Walton Street, uh, $129,296,000, which would be a 25% match requirement of $32,324. And for Walton, that's going all the way back around to the uh, cul de sac at the end. So that's a pretty good stretch of road. Howard Street, uh, cost estimate on that came out to $116,866 with a match of $29,216 and that's going all the way to Erie uh, on that. So, so what's the chances of us getting all three of those? Uh, pretty, one? pretty good, I think. So we're looking at a $201,000 match. Yeah, whatever that comes out to, I didn't run Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, originally, uh, well, where was I here? Yeah, it's about, eight. the upside of this, I was looking at just the, the maximum is 818 based on what I got a few minutes, hours ago about, about Anderson, but throwing in the other two streets, I estimated uh, what our maximum could be. Well, we, can, we, we, we could do the project, folks. Uh, we could do it, assume those numbers are, are, are fairly accurate. I don't think they're going to go over much. I think they're estimated on the high side, Jeff. I mean, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. well, my question on Howard Street, what about that where we had the emergency sewer repair a couple years ago? I mean, they need some sub base work there, I'm guessing. Well, and I, I think we can do that. I think we can dig that up and uh, just like we did over here on Jefferson Street uh, mm -hmm. by our plant, yeah, Doug cut that, spurred it <laughs> off. <clears throat> dug down the lake base so uh, one thing that you know we, we will need to keep in mind is that we have a one million dollar cap for community crossings per year or per project per project well okay and I'm not sure if it's per, <coughs> since I have this broken out into two projects if it's cumulative or if it's just the the you know for example, the won't extend uh, or won't go over a million dollars on Anderson Street. Well, so you're looking at one, I mean, doing the first round but having two different projects on it. You well, know, because they're two different kinds of treatments. Yeah. Okay. And I suppose that's something I need to find out from end dollars. So on a $1 million cap, if it's uh, per project or cumulative. And that price includes putting sidewalks to uh, Pine, pine, pines, yeah, pines and gutters, both sides. Yes. And um, kind of piping. I mean, I know we'd have to have piping under the gutters, but what are you thinking they're going to tie into? Uh, they're going to work its way down by uh, that line by Doc. Well, it's right there in the valley. There's a line that sheets across over by Doc Yambiani. Uh -huh. Through that, that's what it'll tie into and head that way. Okay. Which eventually we're going to have to do some work on yeah. that side too. We yeah. know that. That was my concern because I mean, that's. Now you guys got me wondering about that $1 million cap. Well, this project, I mean, I think these estimates, I mean, 25% increase based on what we had last summer on Anderson. I think prices have not. I think that's on the high side. I don't see this project going over. I mean, you're pretty confident on your two Walt and Howard. Yeah, I was pretty confident on those that we won't get in a situation where we're <coughs> underfunded. <coughs> but again, <coughs> what? Yeah, something can happen tomorrow and prices go through the roof again. I mean, all right, it, right. Gas is going back up again. Yeah, I can well, tell you, I'm giving them my best shot on those. We can cash flow. You're looking at 211000 212000 local match, new project. We, we, we uh, based on the handy, dandy, you know, we were pulling money from multiple funds, seated, food and beverage, motor vehicle restricted, motor vehicle. Uh, uh, Keep in uh, mind on food and beverage, you read that email today? Or? Yeah, I did. I knew that was coming out. I received an email about a month ago, <clears throat> well, actually longer than that, last year, this is going on. They put a sunset clause on all food and beverage tax in Indiana, except... The Donut Counties up there around Marion and in the historic hotel, uh, uh, West Baden French Lake uh, managed to get in, in get in on the non sunset clause. So 19 or 2020, 2041 would be when we would all have to to uh, 
in that unless we have debt or something that goes beyond that. But then there's also the opportunity to petition. <coughs> well, the whole thing that started was uh, up in Northeast Indy, they were using money that was a questionable. They did, some people didn't like the right. using it. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we should get involved or not. I feel like we should. But anyway. Yeah, proceed. Proceed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we, we could pull a little money out of uh, where we at it. CCI and CCD, there's, there's funds in there that we've been accumulating. If need be, we, we could cover. But I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Unless, like Jeff says, it could go up dramatically in the next six months. I don't think it Well, heck, you don't know. But what you ciphering, Jeff? Totals. Well, even if it is a one million cap total cumulative, we're still under that with 853. Oh, yeah. 853. Oh, yeah. So, I had a moment of panic so we need that in. We need that in by the twenty seventh. Yes. Um, you know, the next big concern is some right of way issue out there for the sidewalk on the north side of Anderson down to Pine. There's four property owners, I believe, we talked about the other night with Roger. Um, we'll need to get a, a document from Nick and reach out to them and see where they're at on that. I'd like to have uh, an overlay from Roger, kind of indicating where exactly they're going to be, uh, so people can kind of visualize it. Well, in, in, in my discussion with, with Roger, uh, we're going to go on the, the north side of where the actual right of way is because if you get into all the utility relocation involved in putting that sidewalk on the other side of Kirby, it's just going to be a, a nightmare. There's too many utilities there. Uh, so that, that's where we might have an issue is people not wanting to you know, put it out. And once this is awarded, we have 18 months. Get to get done, because uh, that could slow down the project if we had to right away issues. But there's only four that would be involved. Yeah. So Two houses, a bank, and then whoever owns the property that the general sits on. Um, okay. So you want me to go ahead and proceed and uh, try to get some financial letters of commitment and do the applications and on those uh, those two separate projects. I think so. Okay. I can do that. Okay. 2022-1, uh, close out. I'll work with Randy on that. Uh, North Michigan is awarding, or awarded. We'll prepare advertisement, bid docs, and contract. I've got on my list of stuff to do this week, and uh, I haven't got to it yet. But and, you know, that's something that, that we don't know the cost Right. I mean, we, we, we estimate about 90000 you, you do the estimates, mm -hmm. and then you get the bids, mm -hmm. and you hope you're at least close. Mm -hmm. and, boy, I think I am. But. And yeah, going from a Howard all the way over to 36. Yes. Yeah. It's not a bad stretch, but it's, it's one that's beat up pretty good. Uh, electrical department has a request for materials. These are miscellaneous. Materials from Brownstown, they range from bolts to this, that, and the other. I have a copy of the, if you would like to take a look at it. I also have a hard copy of my cost estimates and Roger's cost estimate as well, if you'd like to look at them. Uh, for the Brownstown quote, it is a total of $9,651.25. Those are bolts, hook guy hooks, um, yeah. just a, a wide assortment of hardware. Yeah, I can pass that around also. Well, that's Anderson Street. I mean, you're giving it here. These are your street estimates. Yeah, right? I just wanted you to have a copy of that. Oh, I, okay. these are the I can email it to you also. Okay. Well, hmm. I, 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 okay. More papers. Okay, oh, well, well, so, so who came up with this, Brett? Yep, and that's from Brownstown. And just uh, you can give me an approval for nine thousand six hundred fifty-one dollars and twenty-five cents. Get it. He said that there's a few items on there that are at least six to seven weeks out. As I'm sure you're aware, it's pretty technical. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. 
another quote that I have, and there's a work order agreement on the back, should we choose to accept that, is from Peerless on behalf of our water department. Uh, Mike got the, Peerless came in and did an inspection on our pumps and wells, and what they found was there was a, a couple of valves, one of them is a gate valve, the other is a globe, globe valve? Oh, globe yeah, so style, check globe valve. valve. Globe check valve, and uh, to replace those with uh, installation is $4,415. Uh, Mike said could get a, an alternative quote if that's, um, if, that, if you so desire, uh, but these are the people that did the inspection on the pump. And, uh, Is that what you usually use? Uh, I, I'm trying to remember in the past. I know that's who we have a maintenance agreement with. So my recommendation would be go ahead and, and have them do the work. Yeah, I move. I mean, it's Second. all in favor. Aye. Aye. IMPA guys are back in town this week, and um, yeah, they're, they're starting to string wire on our three-phase project, so that's good. Uh, the tree trimming down in our culvert for utility relocation, Brett and Dan got that done here a while back, so uh, pretty good to go on that. And that big tree's all cut up, isn't it? Yeah. And the big tree's uh, pretty well. We still have a little bit of raking to do out there, but for the most part, it, it's fairly cleaned up. I'd say so. uh, I think that's all I've got for him. But now, uh, Dirk did send an email out wanting to know if there was a time that we could get together for a quarterly progress report. And uh, I think, Park, maybe you responded to that. I did. Okay. Uh, I just want to know, yeah, we met tonight or meeting tonight, so I thought, well, you know, we can try to come up with something. Any suggestions? I mean, can we do this during the day? I, I don't know. Well, I know, I know uh, Dirk certainly can. Some of it can't be there during the day. It's easier in certain days of the week. But uh, I hate to exclude anybody by putting it in the day, but if you don't want it today, uh, let me know. But if you can make it, that's fine with I me. I can usually do okay. it. Well, yeah, I like noon meetings. It helps, uh, except Wednesday or Thursday, Fridays. I'm working at the mall. Mondays aren't great for aren't. me. Uh, yeah, Tuesday, like a, Wednesdays. Like a Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, yeah. How soon does he want to do this? Just for yeah, it, it would be sometime in February, I think, or maybe in March. Okay. All right. Well, it's that far out. We don't need to pick a date tonight, then. No, no. I'll get with him and. and you say now Tuesdays or Wednesdays? Would yeah, be good. sounds like that. Yeah. Uh, waiting to hear back on our water improvement project. Should be February, I think, uh, Cindy said. We do have movement on our 41 North Sewer Is that what all project. Trucks and stuff are doing out there cutting down trees? Nope, oh. that's something totally different. Okay. I, that's Mr. Gooch. He's got a little project. He's clearing some land out over there. Yeah. Uh, on this, I, I think uh, maybe Brandy has a document for signature. Is that the notice to proceed? Yeah, I are, I've got the signature okay. on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we do have a notice to proceed on that. According to Brian Hood, they will begin working on the lift station installation there by the shop code place on that property. So finally some movement on that. Uh, yeah, South that's Mark something I want to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that pipe out there is his pipe, right? I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but it would seem like it. South Market Street, utility coordination continues. I have a local quarterly report due to NDOT by the 20th. I'll probably get that submitted tomorrow. Jefferson Street Project, CSI. Uh, hang on a minute. So how's Market Street looking? I mean, are they, is March 15th still on yes. the books? That's yes. That's what they sent out in their recent update. Okay. Yes. Uh, they're saying uh, bid letting date's 15th. Let's yes. hope that March 15th. doesn't yeah. come in any harm with the very estimated. Uh, so it looks like they have, Jeff, utility relocation 23 and a road construction actually being 24. Yeah. Um, well, what I'm concerned about and what I need to pull a meeting together uh, for is to really get with PCI and, and uh, 
uh, Mr. Meese and, and pull some people together and really talk about how we're going to do that feed and projecting on whether or not Market Street is going to be available this year for the Bridge Fest. And I think it's kind of up in the air. I had uh, IMPA, IMPA, Mike Adams, was looking at some solutions there on the courthouse side, on the, uh, the west side, about possibly going underground with some junction boxes and stuff like that. And, I mean, I tell you what, the, the more I think about that, I, I think that's going to be so, it, it's going to be expensive. I don't have the numbers yet, but it may be something where we look at, we know we're going to have decorative poles uh, along there. It may be something that we get a design on a decorative pole that can actually hold wire too, so we can continue to go overhead and feed uh, feed those shacks. Number one, that's the way the shacks are set up now. Uh, your vendors are going to have to have a pretty good expense to, to change those to underground if we decide to go with a ground level feed. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's got to be you guys' call. But I, I'm just thinking. So are all those shacks, two, I mean, they require 220? Probably most of them. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know what they take, Dave. Okay. I mean, uh, they, get, they have their own meter base, right? Yes. Okay. Um, something else on that. You want to be involved in a walkthrough? Oh, it, it'll probably be sometime next week. Yeah, for Miller? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I'll make sure you're on the... Shoot me a <clears throat> text in the day. Okay. But anyway, once I get something firm from Mike, I, I think we really need to pull some people in and, and uh, kind of pull all this together and make some decisions on which way we want to go with it. Because... Obviously, there's a lot of a lot of planning involved in that the bridge fest, and I know Nisa would need to know that yesterday if, if we're going to be able to have that that side open or not. So, yeah, at this point, I, I mean, I would say no, based on the timeline we're given from structure point, that that will probably not be a factor. I don't. Could uh, they not just close Jefferson? Through traffic and put them that make a mess. I know, but well, you gotta have traffic flow somewhere around the square. Well, then if they're closed oh, over here, oh, then they okay, go one over there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you better have a little flow. Uh, then they'd be down a non stop light intersection, down that'd be uh -huh. more dangerous, probably. Uh -huh. So, I don't know. Well, yeah, we need to really get on top of what you got next, Jeff. Okay, uh, Jefferson Street Project, last two street lights are in. Fights still has a few things to do on the punch list. I'll let you know when those are completed. The charging station information uh, still, uh, when Ronnie Jr. is ready to board that, we can do it. The Jackson Voorhees Beetle project, PERs in progress for water and sewer. I know Millers have been doing the video camera work on sewers, and I need to get that to Roger when, whenever those guys have that done. Yeah, right. Send me an email about that so I can. Okay. Parking lot paving, we met with Roger uh, last week to talk about that and the lights and, and all this, uh, that and the other. Uh, he's going to give us some firm property lines uh, measured out. It looks like we're going to be able to pick up some more angle parking mm -hmm. on that south end. Nice. And um, uh, chair curbs, storm line and grades, water access. We talked about all those things and, and paving on the, the northeast corner of Jefferson and York to alleviate uh, the entryway, the problem with the entryway to the dentist lot, and also gravel around that storm drain that, that according to Structure Point by design, was not paved. Why that is, I don't know. So, so the big issue at the meeting was, okay, can we establish that south line? Mm -hmm. do you, do you, does he, have you heard back from Roger on any... any, any no, nothing definitive. I think uh, he was still going to be talking to that. Uh, you know, we'd like to put this yeah. thing out to bid by... You got any idea when... Yeah, no. Uh, has anybody asked Well, we got that? April. No. Well, yeah. Yeah, a little bit prior to April. Have you we, need to have, we need to have something down before mid-February because that's when our due date is for... Our um, creative spaces. Okay. 
So we need we need to have something way before February fifteenth because I think that's our de our deadline. We got about three weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to get that done. Roger needs to be uh, aware of that. I guess hot on his list. Just have you talked to Kevin? Does he know? I thought when we first were doing a walkthrough, he kind of indicated where their property line was. Well, kind of didn't. Well, work I mean, yeah. I felt like he knew Kevin. Jacks. Jacks. Oh. Well, the thing is, you need an actual identifiable point that's been recorded now in we, the courthouse. There's, yeah. like Greg Norman helped us out, but we've identified some pins up there. That, but the, so, uh, the, the, the problem there is it wouldn't stand up in court as Roger right. mentioned. So. Well, and that's what I'm saying, though, but we have a, an idea, you know, as soon as we can get Roger to get a survey. Yep. Tree trimming, I'm working on that. Storm line clean out, working on that. Uh, you, Mac, Mike, you got anything for us, buddy? Uh, yeah, there was one thing that didn't get you sent, so I don't know, present to the board. We got a quote from uh, utility supply for a uh, downflow meter. It goes for one of the wells. It'll be, one, it'll be the last well that needs a meter, I guess, over the last two or three years that Cody has been replacing two meters at a time um, so there's one left to do cool. and the quote from utility supply is uh, $5,719 and then of course you gotta have full place plans with that that's a million nine dollars on the well yeah million nine dollars on the back so but, uh, I want to present that to you and you guys can ponder over that what you want to decide to do but, What's well, the total on that again, Mike? Uh, I guess the uh, full total is going to be 5719 And what's that for, Mike? It's a, uh, That's a downflow meter. measures what's coming out of the tower. What we're, no, what we're pumping out of the well. Of uh, the well. To the plant. It's, okay. Uh, oh, we should know that. Yes. Yeah, I think we have to know that. Yeah. Well, I, I think we need to proceed, do we not? Uh, is that a motion? Well, I, I hate to make a motion about something on paper, but you can send something. Well, I want to send it to Brain if she wants to print it off real quick. Well, why don't you get something on? Yeah, we should have it, at least something printed out in front of us and be formal about it. Meanwhile, Jeff, where else yet? Okay, Brett started, or he's going to try to start. I don't know if he got to the light mm -hmm. on the uh, lights down at the Beachwood Park. Uh, personnel, I was able to fill. Uh, Three out of four, I had four out of four for the general labor until 6.39 a.m. this morning. And I had somebody tell me they accept another position, so I still have one general labor spot I'm trying to fill. Began the lineman interviews today, uh, and we'll conclude next Wednesday, so hopefully that following Friday, I'll have a recommendation for you on the, the apprentice lineman. Another discussion I have with Roger involved the uh, I and I plan infiltration. He had talked to, to Bruce down at the plant and uh, got some flow rates and that kind of thing. And, and uh, he also has some data from Structure Point that he thinks would be pretty useful. So at our storm meeting, which is uh, in February 15th, yeah. Roger's going to come. He's going to also talk about the, uh, the, you know, you guys have asked us to put together a plan for I and I, and I think he has some good thoughts on that. Yeah, so, we need to be ready for our IDM when they yes. do their visit. Yep. Um, good. So that's uh, February 15th, 7 o'clock, storm board, cemetery meeting. Uh, Brandy, I don't know if we can do this in time uh, next Monday, the 23rd <coughs> at 12 at Town Hall. Yep. If we can do that in time. Okay. Thank you. So next Monday? Yeah, are you on the cemetery board? Yeah, next Monday. You are. Yeah. I, I can't. I'm old. I can't remember stuff. I don't write it down. Um, okay. I said if he didn't want she to. Volunteered. Okay, she volunteered. Okay, you volunteer. Oh, you go. She, you didn't. don't want to owe her. You are. <laughs> but no. Okay, well, good. So you are on the board. I was confused. No. Uh, no I'm she, sorry. She takes Mon it. Monday. Well, if you want to, you can do it. Oh, no. Go ahead. Monday, well, Monday is really not good for you. Somebody mm -hmm. for that. Oh. Right, it's okay. If you want we'll, to do it, I can tell them. We can move that too. Well, we can, yeah. It's up to you. I know Carla was okay, but uh, you just that Mondays aren't good with her. Yeah, he's fine. Oh. 
Okay, so what are we doing? Noon Monday. Noon Monday? Uh -huh. Okay. Don't do it again, though. Make it Tuesday or Wednesday? No. So I got it taken care of. Okay. okay. Noon Monday will work. Okay, yeah, good. That'd be great. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> all right. And then the last thing I had other than the cemetery board meeting was the bike and pet path. We're ready to already get on that, so. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow night. I'm off a day. Uh, okay, Jeff. <clears throat> what questions do I have? Okay. So is Miller, has oh. Miller shot that darn sewer yet? Does anybody, has Miller shot the sewer yet? Or that? Can we move on this wall? Oh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, we got this, this thing that uh, Mike was talking about. I'll make a motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. There you go, Roy. Um, has Miller shot the video yet on, on Jackson Voorhees? They, they, no. They, okay. Okay. So that's, that's one question I, I was wondering about. Uh, uh, what's this thing, Kyle Kurtzinger, uh, the prison of flowchart power? Yeah. What's going on with that? What is that? So there's we have a flow meter out there that we yeah. use to gauge our billing off. Of. Right. And it's been without power here for a couple months. Well, whose property is it? Well, it's, it's the prisons. And they're, they're aware of it. Doug's made them aware of it since... Gosh dang, I think it was in November even. He okay. said, hey, you guys need to get the power back on. Okay. And they can't figure out where the power's coming from at all. Um, so I gave him a buzz. Of course, he's got his hands full with the roof where the pipes break and right. stuff over there right. too. But I said, hey, we, we really need to have you guys connect that power back up. And I even offered to send Brett out with his locator to, to see if we could pinpoint that. But... Uh, Okay. They, they've got to get that back operation. Well, yeah, I know. We're a couple years. Them, we're just doing a couple estimate. years. We estimated because our meter was broke. Yeah. Our, our, well, we estimated what we were doing. Anyway, wonder what that was. Uh, yep. So what are we doing? I heard some talk. I think earlier about light poles of forty-one. A Jeff Kleitz, Klitz, Kleitz, what's Kleitz? Yeah. Kleitz. Uh, so. A lot of the issue, and I responded to Mr. Ader because he was questioning your... your yeah, that's another thing I want to ask. You know, things. So I wrote a response to him. I, I think you got that response. I did, him. yes. Okay. So we're having issues of getting replacement parts for some of those street lights. So we're in the process of trying to convert them over to LEDs. You're talking the poles on 41? Yes, poles on 41. So that's why you get some that are... Bright, brighter, and some, and some are are not. dimmer. There's going to be that until we all get them switched over to LEDs. What's it cost per light? Well, I'm still waiting on a quote for that. He made us a promotional offer that I sent out for quotes from uh, Brownstown, Gray Bar, and Kirby Risk. I should get those in time. Okay. And it was a uh, buy two, get two free. Oh, you got to love the two for two. Now, after that, it will be a different price, which, which I'll have to get. But. Well, of course. So, yeah, that, that's kind of what's going on with the street lights. It's we're caught in that. Well, I guess it's kind of that middle period of, of trying to get everything converted over and, and repair what we can with the parts that we have. Yeah, another issue we have, they pay. We just paid to have those poles. I guess you could call it professionally repainted. Yeah. I don't know. And they're already looking trash again. You know, the prep work is always critical on metal. I uh, I think it'll, I, I I don't know who the yeah, some of the metal is, but, was almost. Uh, but yeah, they're already already looking pretty yeah, bad. Yeah. And, and we can't take any more off there. I mean, safely. We, I can't, we can't grind any more off there. Well, are we, are, is it wise to put these LED units on poles that we don't know? Well, I, I, I think they should be, and I better check on that too, because I do see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. One of my thoughts. Going along with that is, do we go back with steel poles or do we go with an aluminum? Well, I think aluminum is the way you want to go. But we already know that the steel has held up very Steel is, yeah, yeah, it's not going to work well. I think this aluminum would be the way to go. Oh, somewhere I read somebody sent out something about the signals. It's probably from you, Jeff. The signals yeah. up here on the intersections. What do you know from NDOT about when they're going to It's about two years out. Two years? Yes. Good Lord. Yeah. Uh, and we still, we've indicated we prefer to have the black yes. decorative, not the... Yes. Well, they just keep moving. I know, it's been moving. Heck, it's been going on for four or five years. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what's, what was the one light that the town board 
didn't want on them 41. I don't remember that. It's the one somewhere down by the corner, I think. And Brett told me that, that he was told to leave that off because it was too bright. And when that was, I, I didn't follow up with okay. a lot of questions. Yeah, I have a recollection of uh, uh, what, what. But, but there was a reason why that it, it wasn't turned on. He said, no, they specifically did not want that one on. Huh. Well, he must have had complaints. I, I don't know. Uh, well, we could turn it back on and see who complains. <laughs> then we would know, right? Uh, one way. <laughs> huh? That's one way to figure out. Well, yeah. I may have an idea on that. You may? Well, I don't know. It seems to, when we have a light and we don't use it, it's kind of... Well, I agree. We could take it down and use it for a place where the poles got smashed or something. Well, we could thing. just turn it back on. Well, we could and see what happens. I don't recall it. I don't know when that would have been. I mean, my time. Uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> Just what? For your own information, too. Uh, you know, I told the guys, and, and they started doing some work on this today, trying to get some of the trash and, and leaves uh, picked up. You know, the debris from the wintertime stuff that accumulates. Yeah. Uh, so. Hopefully, we can get that tidied up quite a bit. Okay, I think that's weeks. about all. Well, I think on the leaves, especially around the gutters, I mean, it, it does no good uh, to just brush them back. I mean, you got to get them, you got to pick them up. Yeah. I mean, and at this point, what I've seen around the, the, the courthouse kind of bothers me because I don't think we're supposed to be taking care of the, the courthouse sidewalk. I, I could be wrong on that. But, uh, if anybody knows for sure, please let me well, know because no I, I, I don't like seeing that stuff up there. I'm Don will let you know. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I think they think it's the town's property. Well, it depends on what needs to be done. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. But anyway, uh, I, 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 told, I told the guys, I said, I don't know if it's Don's, it's Don's, I don't know. But uh, we're going to clean it up anyway, uh, just because we like you know, kind of <laughs> are they going to work on a drive around on the gutters because yeah. there are several that are covered in leaves some yeah. plastic bags yeah. over the gutters yeah. and the storm drains yes yeah. Yeah. tree limbs yeah. in the gutters yeah. <laughs> I, I can give you a list if you uh, like yeah. oh, <laughs> I, I know. see it plenty I know uh, Kind of pulled a movie with our sweeper uh, that had a little curved room on it. Um, may have accidentally been that <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I tried to get a little too deep down into the gutter. And, yeah, so that's operator error on my part. Okay. We'll get a taste. All right. So where are we at? We're at old business. Old business. The Cooper, the Cooper thing goes back 2018. Last meeting 2018 is when we approved that contractor to go dig up his. Uh, well, actually, they were supposed to bore. The problem is they dug it up. Uh, so yeah, we we've got uh, what was that document that Nick prepared? So he in, in in case case. huh? Is he in agreement? He is. He signed it. And had notarized release of all claims. Uh, it was all notarized and yeah, it's been notarized. And so we're we're good. Nick said if he signed notarized it, we're good. He's happy. And we're happy, and I guess Cooper be happy. Okay. Good. You want to make a motion or? I'll move. Second. All in favor. Aye. All right. Uh, you know, next question is: It's been four years, but do we want to have Nick to look at uh, going on the contractor uh, for for? Any claim, I don't know, it's worth doing. We might ask that. Yeah, so we could have that, Nick. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a promissory made. I'm assuming that they should have been in some kind of an agreement on that. But well, yeah. They would take care of the damages. Uh, okay. You good? On that, yeah. Okay. I got other stuff. 
Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, one thing, we had a donation to the town for, for the yes. cemetery from a, uh, uh, an individual, and I don't know, I, I think I responded. I don't know who was on the email. We've talked about it for years. We need to get a, a fund set up the foundation for people to be able to donate to the, the cemeteries of Rockville. And, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know who to assign the task, but I, I don't know. What's, it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, Nick, heck, he's, he's on that board, is he not? Or, Which uh, board? Community, the community Foundation. Foundation. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to start doing that so we have an ability to take donations and, and keep them permanent, just use the proceeds and dividends, interest, whatever, the earnings off those funds to help maintain the cemeteries. Um, we have 30000 a permanent fund on a, a, a fund report that's been around, gosh, mm. decades. Uh, and I don't know, again, that's an interesting thought there. Well, can, can we take that and, and, and put that into a permanent fund at the foundation and just carry that in our fund report as, you know, cemetery, foundation cemetery, cemetery fund? You know, a couple of questions. But we, we, we could use donations like this to put in the fund. I, I, I don't know if they have a minimum amount. I think their minimum amounts are fairly low to start uh, um, uh, fund over there. Certain foundations have higher thresholds. But they're not too high. So I, I assume the board would be interested in pursuing this yes. said mm -hmm. thing. I, I suppose since I'm the one that brought it up, I should volunteer <laughs> to uh, go talk to uh, Brad. And uh, while well, we'll do that, as long as the board has no objection, and see what we can get figured out. And uh, I'll send an email to Nick about it. And uh, what to do with this money that came in? Did you just put it? I put it in the cemetery. I think I created a separate okay. donation line. There, yeah, so that I'll money I'll I'll, I'll volunteer to go talk to Nick or not Nick Brad uh, <laughs> for all those. And if you guys have some concrete ideas on on the, what we can do with that money, as far as something that, that's well yeah tangible. yeah well this you know this, this money that was donated I mean it'd be nice to start putting it in a fund you gotta start someday um, you know it, it's, it's, it's I don't know Jeff, but yeah uh, what else what else uh, regional sewer meetings 825 or 125 when is that that's next week uh, I thought it was the 26th on Wednesday it's Wednesday is that 25 26 uh, the thing is oh, the 25th 25th uh, 10 to 12, and then 1.30 to 3. Um, I'll be there. I, 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 I think Cindy said I just really needed to be at the 10 to 11. But, uh, so anyway, that's going to be interesting to, to hear about. Uh, we have a uh, redevelopment commission meeting next Tuesday night to 24th. I, I printed these forms off. Ray, uh, Roy sent them out, their appointment. We, you need to, I think, take those, complete the top, take those with us to the meeting. So... You can get sworn in and stuff. Uh, cemetery board next Monday at noon. Next noon. Uh, next Tuesday at noon. Next noon. Next Tuesday at noon. Uh, <laughs> a fellow from Midwest called. He used to actually be the quick treasurer of uh, Shelburne. Has been for almost 40 years. Quite a capable individual. Uh, knows a lot. He actually is working now. He retired from that job after decades and is working with uh, Midwest. Uh, Goatee, and uh, just out of uh, respect more than anything, I mean, I, I know the guy. I've heard good things about the fellow for a long time, and Brandy's actually know, knows who this individual is and has talked to him a few times. Uh, but he wanted to come up and just introduce himself, and uh, we're going to meet Brandy and I with him next Tuesday, the twenty fourth at noon. Anybody else wants to meet with us? I'm, I'm, you're more than welcome to, but I don't want to. Well, let you know we are. I, I thought it would be rude to not mm -hmm. do so. I mean, he. Uh, uh, is well respected in the industry as far as clerk treasurer and uh, uh, so yeah so that's going on uh, gosh what else you don't need to know about that meeting that's something else that's not 10 well David I think I'm getting to the end um, sure. make sure I got all my notes gave those things to you uh, oh Brandy you said that the software finally they had their updates finally yes it was released yesterday <laughs> so, uh, so we'll work on closing that out and Yay. So when can we get our rates updated? How we is that? A, Those have already been sent to Keystone. Oh, okay. So we just are kind of waiting on them, but they won't become till the April bill. Really? 
March bill. Which would be? Because we're we're behind, so we'll have to have yeah. all of so March. Okay, that'd March. be in the March first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're effective January. Yes, 1st. yes, but they won't but, be until the March. Right. Oh, I give this yeah. another. But yeah, Keystone has all that information. Six, six weeks. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm done. To live. To live. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I wanted to touch on something. I went to the police board meeting uh, the other night. Just wanted to touch on a couple things that just keep coming up. Uh, one of them, this IC code that I'm going to give you is basically the development uh, of the police commission, what it took to get, the, and I'm not going to go through all of it. I just want to point, point out two things. Uh, the IC code is 36-8-9-3.1. Um, the fourth, the fourth um, thing in here uh, explains how the, the terms are, are done. So it, it's basically, it says the terms of each board member expired January 1 of the third year of membership appointment. So it's a three-year appointment. So everybody knows that. The other thing is about being removed from that board. The town legislative body may remove a board member for any cause that the legislative body cons considers significant. So it doesn't even require cause. If I just want you, everybody to know that that's that's the way that is. That's the way that reads. So and Nick, the one that researched this, so. Anybody wants a copy? I'm sure Brandy would be more than happy to to uh, copy it and give it to you. So, uh, a couple other things that we keep talking about with the Rockville Police Department going out of town. Now, I'm not going to put any kind of mileage on you. I, I, my my thing is we have have gave you guys some pretty hefty raises. I, I believe. I think the board believes that. So in that, I believe that the people of this town deserve to have 24-7, 365 coverage. I mean, that's been fought for for years on this board. I mean, you know. It's been debated for years. Yes. Yes. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that you can't put, you know, a tire out of town. I'm not saying that, Bill. I'm not saying that to Ian. I'm, I'm not. But I also want to know that if somebody's breaking into my house or anybody's house in this town at two or three o'clock in the morning, are you going to be able to respond within five, six minutes? I mean, that's all I want to know. I mean, that, I think that would put this to bed that obviously if you were gobbler's knob, I don't think you can make that happen. Uh, so, I, I mean, so where's that line? I don't know. But I just feel like the people of this town deserve to have their coverage. Um, I, does anybody disagree with that? Well, yeah, it's only logical, David. I mean, that's who's paying their fees, and that's who they, they, they work for, the citizens of Rockville. You know, I haven't, I, I, I haven't seen, I mean, last year the out-of-town calls, two years ago the out-of-town calls weren't very significant based on the percentage of the whole. And, and I, I believe I say calls, they were actually called out-of-town by... The sheriff's department but the point is legitimate you 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 expect them to be when here when needed because that's where they they, they well i mean this is something that they it, work. this won't go away well it seems like so. it keeps coming up i know that some people think well they shouldn't be one put out of town another individual and i think the majority of this board at least feels that uh, you know they go out of town to you got to turn around somewhere right. <laughs> and you can't stop and back up yeah. that's 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 not appropriate so yeah, I don't see any. You know, you said nothing about mileage, but you know, just about mileage, Bill. You know, I just talked to a retired uh, chief from a very large town uh, the other day, and, and it was interesting how he he. I asked him about fuel. I said, "Well, how in the world?" I mean, he had like fifty some officers, and he said, "Well, I divided it up to the officers, and every month you had your gas, and if you went over, you know, you're buying it till, <laughs> until you get to the next month." See, it got me curious to just calculate. I think we set your fuel budget at twenty-five thousand, and that's thousand eighty-three a month, and that's three hundred forty-seven gallons per officer for six six vehicles. You've probably already looked at this, but uh, so yeah, I don't know what you're uh, how you're going to do it, but it was fun to hear a guy explain how how he went about it. And uh, yeah, it's like at a fifteen miles a gallon uh, average, that's like fifty-two hundred miles. Of course, a lot of times the guys, your vehicles are running a lot. They're running constantly. 
So your mileage is probably a lot worse. I don't think that's true as much anymore, is it? Well, the, the current vehicle policy is that if you're not in your vehicle, no, if you're not on a call, you shut it then off. your vehicle is to be shut off. Well, I'll save some gas. Now, if you're on a call like a wreck, It'll run. you got your lights yeah. on, it's running. If you go to a domestic, you don't have time to shut your car off. You're going to run inside and take care of you know, You're going to approach that and take care of it. Uh, other than that, if you're going into the police department, you're going out to eat, whatever you're doing, where you're going out and you don't need to have your car running, it is to be shut off. Oh. Well, that's probably Oops. a good idea. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about the mod so much. You're just you know, trying to keep keep the budget under control. But uh, so Go on, David. I'm well, no, no, I, I'm just, that was basically what I was going to say. I mean, it, it was pointed out at the meeting that the safety commission doesn't have anything to do with the budget. So obviously they're basically putting it back in our laps as far as the budget, which is, it was always there. So, I, I mean, I just wanted to have, you know, like I said, we put some expectations out there for Jeff and, and I don't feel like it's micromanaging. Some people may think it is, but it's not like, I mean, have I called you one time? Have I said, have you got this done? Have you got this done? I, I mean, we just had some stuff that we wanted you know things to be done and and you know so far i think you're doing a good job of it so you know i, I mean i just for me i i i'd mentioned that night about keeping the cars clean i to me that's not a big deal i don't think it's a big i, I mean i think i mean you guys are using the cars and I, to me that's not a big deal i mean if you can't wash your own car for a couple times a month that's you know i mean I look at state troopers car all, all the time. They're never dirty. I don't know how the hell they do it, but they those cars are never dirty. They don't leave the highway. Well, that's, <laughs> that's one thing, but I mean, still, I, I mean, even in snow, they don't seem to be dirty. So I don't know what they've got on those cars, but you know, I, I mean, that's just kind of a what color? I, are I they, mean, it's a it's white. a town asset. Are the new ones are white. Yeah, state troopers cars. Are white. No, no, what so color are they? Are, are, are gray. They're gray. Dark or light? Dark gray. Yeah, the darker colors are burger to keep clean. Yeah, you know what? The white mm -hmm. doesn't show dirty. It doesn't. I think it would, but it yeah. doesn't as much till it gets just Well, clean. if you guys need bays or I've got power washers. Well, that, that's that's basically what I said down there. I mean, we've got a bay that you guys wash in. It's not well, it's not the end of the world. I mean, that, to me, that's a town asset. We're paying for it. So I feel like we got a little bit of control over it. So, you know, and... and, and like was stated by John, you know, we're, we're, we let you run your department. I mean, but I just, I don't know, that's just one of the things, I guess it's a pet peeve of mine and it's apparently a pet peeve of other people because people have mentioned it to me. So, you know, I mean, I, I just don't think it's that big of a deal to, you know, scrub a car down once in a while. <laughs> so, but I mean, if anybody disagrees now, now's the time to tell me because I'm, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just one person. So well, you know, it's only logical. I mean, you got to be able to see the, the 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 markings on the car, and then just it just it's, it's just a perfect thing to do to me. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Shows professionalism. You told me that they don't recommend running through. I did not say that. Okay, well, I, somebody, I, some one of you guys said I something. Put it, uh, put it I said policy. you give us a forty thousand dollar car to drive, wash the dang thing. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, somebody did <laughs> say that the equipment. Used, those automatic car yeah. washes all the time. It'll take the emblems yeah, off. Them, so, but uh, well, I don't, anyway, um, what else, Dave? No, it's. I mean, I'm. I'm so anyway, I, off my soapbox. I don't know who sent me the minutes. Anyway, I got the minutes from the meeting. I think he, uh, somebody sent them out. But yeah, so you guys are working on some stuff for the new new building that uh, you're going to need. Um, yeah, I mean, we we are probably 12 months out from being down there. Um, well, that's good. Thinking ahead, planning ahead, seeing Time how we can fast. fit it in the budget. Um, hey, uh, Josh had mentioned something to me about that, and I was going to send out an email uh, about the, the fire extinguishers that are down there in, in the RMC. RMC contracts for coursing, yeah. uh, and I'm sure that all of those are going to be gone mm -hmm. when RMC moves out, so we'll want to be on top of making sure that we have enough fire right. extinguishers, and, and Josh said that he kind of work on that a little bit and see what we're going to need so we have it ahead of time. Okay. And that, that comes back to, and, and I know you guys don't know right now what's going to happen to some of these other buildings, but being able to pull uh, 
I'm, I'm going to assume that we're going to retain possession of a lot of these buildings um, and so that the, the number of fire extinguishers that we're actually able to move is going to be kind of small probably. Well, I'm sure initially we won't make any changes hardly at all, but eventually we might make some. So yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. You know. But he was, he was just thinking ahead and you know, I thought I'd share that with him. Okay. Anybody else have any questions or comments? I went to the Main Street meeting. You did? Oh, okay. When was that? Huh? When was that? Last week. Last week. Well, so any issues we should be concerned about? <laughs> they have their uh, yearly schedule for their events planned. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they'll be bringing that. Okay. Yeah. Probably next meeting, maybe. Yeah. After their next meeting. Um, they just did their officers and looked over some budget items. They want us to um, reconsider the lights around the courthouse. In what way? The, cur the lights. They would like the white lights. Yeah, I know. Uh, I thought one time we talked about they adding them. They said they would get, somebody said they would buy white lights, especially for the north side, and that we would turn ours off for a period the, of time. And I, I had thought that too, but then they said that somebody had said that the poles wouldn't. Well, the oh, poles, wait. the new poles on the east, west side, when they go up, may not be able to accommodate lights being strung across from pole to pole is what the conversation was I was yeah. at or involved in. I know the, uh, the aluminum poles on the very west-west side, I know those are going to come out with relocation, and the deck are going to go back to them. So, so light, any, any other lights, any other issues? Did get Santa's workshop off the courthouse lawn yet, or is it going to sit there till it, March again? It did come off, I think, the end of last oh, week. Really? Okay. It's a good improvement. Uh, they, um, I don't want to say discouraged, but they were, I guess discouraged would be the nicest word, that nobody from our board was at the hometown holidays. The well, nobody from their board, I don't believe, was at the grand opening of Jefferson Street. So, I'm just passing uh, it along. You know, if they want I to do a said, tip for Tad, I got to do it. No, all no, 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 no. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, no. you were, you were a member elect. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So that, that counts. But I let him know okay. that Dave was very complimentary of the parade and the hometown holidays and that mm -hmm. we had discussed participating next year. Potentially. Well, we were out of town. That's not an excuse, but I mean, we were out of town. I would actually like to probably after seeing it, it would have been kind of... I was out of town or, as well. I got back just about the time it started. Saturday night, wasn't it? I was probably in bed. It, it was cool. Yeah, it was, I just, it I cool. said we that we, I'm we were very complimentary <laughs> of the, get up early. Yeah. that we talked about. I think, I, I mean... Main Street does a good job with their oh, yeah. events. I've always been I, I'm happy. Not, Very know, effective I'm organization. That, they so. grumble a lot, but they've been good for the community, no doubt about it. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully they'll keep up the good work. So. I think so. Hey, you think they could, uh, when they get that yearly event schedule, you think they could put down a list of uh, when they want some of these banners up and down annually? Mm hmm that way I can kind of put them on a calendar format. Let's see here. Got three yeah. Is that all you have for them, Melissa? Uh, yeah, my Thrive West Central Community Development or Economic Development meetings, organizational meetings next Monday. Okay. So I'll be at that next Monday. Okay. Any, any questions or comments from the audience. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Can I get a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Aye.